so maybe the McLaren 570S Spider was inevitable. Maybe McLaren's designers penned it a few years ago, right alongside the coupe, knowing from the start that the carbon fiber monocell two tub underpinning the company's Sport Series cars could shrug off a fixed roof without going all wet noodly in the corners. Maybe they had fun, keeping us waiting so what? With this new arrival, the 570 Trio is complete at last. It can now be said that there is a McLaren Sport Series offering for everyone in the market for a space-age $200,000-ish two-seater. You've got the coupe, the luxury-oriented 570 GT and now, the open-top toy that is the Spider. Except that the Spider is more than an open top toy we know that convertibles traditionally come with a certain set of penalties, they're heavier and often also slower they creak and groan and sometimes flop their way down the road they cost more yet the new McLaren dodges most, though not all, of these bullets, asking you to make very few real world compromises to get that open air experience and it even gains an extra 52 liters of cargo space over the coupe with the top up. Practical. On paper, it looks a lot like the rest of the 570 family specs are similar to the coupe, 3.8 liter turbocharged V8, 7 speed dual clutch, rear wheel drive double wishbone suspension with adaptive dampers and 3 selectable drive modes, each one noticeably different, responsive electro hydraulically assisted steering, 